rolling stones. What? Hi, I'm Stephen Pierce, a filmmaker for the film Jailbird. Thank you guys very much for having me here. Uh, wish I was there in Fort Worth with you. I'm frequently there doing uh, the Clyburn International, uh, Van Clyburn International Piano Competition um, and all of their things. So um, I hope uh, you all are doing well and thank you very much for having me. Jailbird is a very short film we made uh, for a one day with some uh, friends, I think, uh, that we were just basically trying to figure out what we could do um, for cheap. Um, without having a bunch of actors and try and do something that we thought was visually dynamic because we had this location we really, really liked and that was kind of the beginning of it. And I think it's a fun little film and I'm very proud of what we were able to achieve. My favorite filmmaker. It's a tough question. Um, I'm sure everybody says that. Right now, probably um, Denis, I'm gonna butcher his last name, Villeneuve. Um, he's, I've watched all his films from beginning to end, like in his career and he's, I think the perfect I love the, the way he is able to tell stories and um, really ha brings unique character with really compelling, you know, storytelling. I mean, just, I think, you know, On Sandi is just a fantastic movie. I, I gotta go with Alamo Draft House again, Fort Worth, give Fort Worth a little love. We have one here in Brooklyn. Um, I'm based out of New York um, and it is by far one of my favorite places to go watch because of just the entire experience. If it wasn't there, um, you know, probably just at home. I like, you know, got the Sonos set up and I like to just be able to be comfortable, uh, hang out. You know, my cats like to watch movies with me occasionally. He's here doing the interview with me today. So, you know, New York started off pretty poorly during the pandemic. It was really uh, bad right in the beginning and been doing a lot of, my wife and I named our fire escape, the beer garden, where we, uh, you know, we take a couple of beers and on stereo and just go sit in our, our beer garden every night in the cold back in April. Um, but now more recently, since things have gotten a little bit better and become a little bit warmer, um, we live in Astoria, Queens. Um, and the weirdest thing about it is we're out by LaGuardia Airport, which is a place that no one ever wants to spend much time. But there are a bunch of really nice neighborhoods and large open roads and uh, out by the Steinway Piano Factory as well. And we like to go walk around out there and get a little fresh air. And it's nice because there are just not many people. And that's, that's a unique thing for New York not any one single thing. I think I'm inspired by telling stories and my company Framework Productions, our mission statement as we move into making larger form films is uh, telling the stories of small communities clashing with big society. Um, I think that's kind of the way I like to look and digest the world is kind of social driven commentary and storytelling um, is at least that's the mission um, is to try and highlight things that will help expand the viewpoint of the viewers for which we're making that piece. Um, I think that inspiration, I think, can come from, from anywhere and anything and frequently does at the least, least you know, um, curated times. Cowboy hat or cowboy boots? Well, I have both. Um, I was an actor first and I've done, you know, over a hundred professional performances of Oklahoma and I've got my cowboy boots would be the thing that I have to stick with as my major winning thing. I have them still sitting in the other room. I wear them occasionally in New York, had them resold three times. They were custom made. They're, you know, back where Missouri, where I came from, they're very, very simple, nothing flashy, just straight up brown, simple, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, um, leather and that's it. Like nothing, nothing fancy, nothing flashy. They're just nice and, you, you know, they're, they're like me, they, they like to do, they like to work hard and they like to get the job done. Thank you guys very much for uh, joining me and watching the film Jailbird. Um, it's a lot, it was a lot of fun to make. We made it in one afternoon, um, trying to keep a short story. And I think that was really the mission is trying to learn how to tell crisp, concise stories with just a few limited shots, very limited crew and budget. And I, I really appreciate you guys having us be a part of the festival. And thank you very much.